construction coach. Today, I'm gonna to show you the tools I'm gonna to use to finish my drywall at my cabin build. I've got about 10,000 board feet of drywall to install throughout the various rooms in the cabin. We've got a lot of natural daylight in the cabin, so I really wanna make sure that my drywall finishing is done to really good standards because I don't want to see any of the joints afterward. So I'm usually traditionally a hawk and trowel guy. I do a very good job of lots of basement projects and have always been able to take care of all deficiencies in drywall that I've come across. But I want to try to step up my game a little bit, making it more ergonomic to install the mud and the tape, just making it easier to apply. So I've chosen Le Tour Parfait. And what they are is a company out of France that makes skin blades and drywall trowels and all sorts of accessories to get it all done to upward standards. So here is their pamphlet, kind of goes through the setup of how to use the tools. It's really kind of an intriguing process because they're not going to apply the mud uh, with the trowel. They apply the mud with a roller system that you use telescopic poles and different width rollers in different sets of, or different stages. So you follow along with the pamphlet here, follow along with me on site. We're gonna start uh, with our tape coat and then we're gonna get all the way up into our larger skin blades. And I'm gonna take you guys all the way to a level five finish, which means instead of traditionally doing, you know, 12 to 16 inch wide under tapers, and 16 to 20 on your butts, I will literally have a thin skim of mud over the whole wall. And I'll show you which tools I'm going to use to get that done.
Wow, these walls turned out great. So I finished sanding them down and now this would be ready for primer in most applications. So I want to show you guys the level five finish. So that's what I'm gonna do next. But I want to show you kind of like what most houses and basement developments are finished up like. Now this would be a perfect ready to go situation. I'll prime the wall, then I'll do all my spot checks, go from there and patch, uh, spot prime those patches and then finish the wall. Now with a level five finish, there is gonna be a difference between how the paper paints in comparison to how the mud paints. So to do a level five, I'm gonna apply the thin layer of mud across the whole wall. And I'm gonna skim it out. So I'm taking this just one step further to show you guys kind of what the big deal is with these skim blades and what they can really do. They were super effective for doing a basic taping job, but what they're really made for is doing level five finishes or skimming large sections of repaired ceilings or uh, doorways that have been filled in with drywall. So very handy tools. Now let's get going with the level five finish. I've got a really wet mud. A lot of guys can also spray the mud, have another guy come behind and trowel. I'm gonna do it a little differently. I wish I had a second person because I'll get them ahead rolling. But what I'll probably do is I'm gonna start in the center here and work my way to the wall. And I'll work my way this way. And I'm gonna uh, skim down and skim up, see how that looks. And then I might have to skim side to side. Uh, one key thing here is I do not want the drywall mud to dry before I hit it with the trowel. So it's really gonna be dependent to your temperature and how fast your mud is drying and how much you can spread out before you need to skip. So let's take a look. Very excited to show you a level five finish.
that's going to be the end of our video. And if you want to see what happens in this cabin build and the rest of these rooms, you got to stay tuned. In this room in particular, I've got a large entertainment center building going here. I've got all wood paneling for the ceiling here. That's why there's no drywall up here. And I've got a bench that basically goes from here all the way around this entire room, creating literally like 40 feet of seating to watch a big screen game over here or watch us play some pool um, and just enjoy ourselves. So if you wanna see how this room finishes, check out the rest of the build, construction couch.